Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 4 video. And today we're gonna be using Rob Font in the Bantamweight division ahead of his main event fight against Marlon Vera this Saturday. Now, in the first fight, we're gonna be taking on a Piotr Jan, which we will be doing a couple times in this video. Now, if you guys haven't had the pleasure of using Rob Font, he has level 5 boxing combinations, so he can throw every single combo in the game. And then he has the range to be able to really, I would say he's probably one of the only people that I feel comfortable anytime I match up with a Yan that I feel comfortable just standing in the pocket with and supremely confident with. So that's what we're going to be doing a little bit of here. There we crack him with a good block counter. We're trying to use the range of Rob Font. He did get a little bit of a nerf after his loss uh, against Jose Aldo, but not too much to where he's unusable. But he was a little bit OP'd back in the earlier seasons. So we catch him with a good four-piece. We're just taking our time, not trying to rush anything. But this guy's doing a good job of launching off double hooks so that way it prevents us from slipping. But you see how I'm just taking my time with Rob Font? I'm not trying to overcommit on too many strikes against Jan. Because the more you overcommit, the more vulnerability you leave yourself at. And I see that with a lot of... Um, I see that with a lot of newer players. They put themselves in very dangerous positions to try to get high damage shots off. And that's something that I would highly recommend if you do do that. If you notice that about yourself, you really try to clean up. Because that will really take you a long ways, especially in a striking game. So here we're just trying to take our time. Land a good three-piece right there. Good body uppercut by this guy. You see, we're just trying to get him to walk into strikes, which we do so successfully right there. We hurt him with a nice three-punch combination. Barely missed on that slip straight. It was a good job by him going down to the body. So we're faking to the body, trying to bait out that up, that slip uppercut. Catches us with a good lunging straight. We try to catch him with a slip straight. Catch him with a good jab straight. So now we got the damage off. We're going to win this round. So we're not going to try to put ourselves at too many in too many compromising positions. Luckily, we do get the rock right there, though. So now we're backing him up. We're keeping that jab pressure. Rip into the body. He tried a major lunge, but he major lunged right into a lead hook. Shoots for a double leg. We deny that right there because that was too easily readable. Wasn't going to get me with that one. So now we have him in a little bit of trouble. When you, when somebody starts to shoot takedowns with Piotr Jan on you, you kind of know that you have them in trouble. We switch stance into Southpaw to mirror the stance that he's in. Just in case he starts trying to launch off overhands. So here we're content with just taking the rest of the round off as this guy really doesn't want to do anything. But it looks like he's just playing it safe. He's trying to get out of the round. We just need to watch not to eat anything heavy in terms of damage. Just taking our time. Miss on the slip straight. Good body kick right there by him. And that's going to be the end of the first round. Very, very good first round from us. We got two rocks and we did some high damage. Uh, to his head now the body's gonna start to open up uh, He did switch stance into southpaw. I don't know how good this guy is at fighting in southpaw So if he if he goes back to that stance, we're really gonna press the pace uh, Push the pace and really just try to see how well he really fights in southpaw There he comes out chopping the leg it Barely hits us with that head kick. I was I was really expecting to be able to counter that He's launching off the jab hook or the jab uppercuts Going down to the body with the jab. Catch him with a good straight as he was going down to the body. Good uppercut right there by him. Prevents us from doing any body damage. Closing the distance with the jab. So now we're on the hunt, but we need to be careful of shots like that. And there he goes. He switches right back into southpaw, but we counter the over with the overhand off of the missed leg kick. Just inviting him back to the center of the octagon, but it doesn't look like he really wants to be there. And that's a win for us. Anytime you see a Yan wanting to back out of the pocket against you, you know you've pretty much almost got the fight won. You broke his will. Here, this guy's trying to step forward with lunging lead hooks. There we crack him with a good lead hook of our own. We just need to watch the damage that we're eating. Good pull counter right there by us. Gets us to knock down. But we're trying to go for the clean KO. Catch him with a good jab uppercut. Just taking our time. Looking for the finish, but not rushing it. Catch him with a good one-two. 
Have him in all sorts of trouble right here. Catch him right there. Knock him down. Beautiful timing on the combination right there by us. So now we smell blood in the water. But we just need to be patient. He shoots for a takedown right there. But misses it. Hitting him with a good jab of Rob Font. Shoots for the double leg. And he's able to get the double leg takedown there with Jan. But we immediately gain our full guard back. We try to fake, but we do get stuck in the animation. We are able to block his half guard transition and immediately hit the get up. So here we have him in all sorts of trouble. Just not going to rush the finish. That's super important when you're taking on guys like Jan or the, any other meta fighters is that you don't rush. So here we're just taking our time. Walking him down. Catching him with a good straight as he was trying to go with a good with a teep kick to the body. Good block counter uppercut right there by him though. Check that leg kick. He switches back to southpaw. That block has to be a little bit low. He's been taking a lot of shots off of it. We try to go with the overhand lead hook combination, but he catches us. Now this is where this is where things could get kind of challenging. So we just need to be careful. Good body kick right there by him. We're going to try to gain some respect back, but that block breaking combination went through and the damage just was too much even for Jan to withstand. So we got the dub here in the first fight. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that we do have for you guys here on the video. Now here we are guys, we are up against this time a Division 20 Pyotr Jan. Now same thing. This is a very common matchup you're going to see especially if you're using Rob Font. Uh people anytime they see you go with Rob Font, they just instantly think, "Okay, we're going to go Jan." So Let's see the way this guy is going to want to play this matchup. Hopefully, we can get him out of there like we did the last yawn. He immediately shoots for the double leg. Really, really readable, so we weren't worried about that. Trying to punch to the body. He's blocking the body, so we punch to the head. Then we go back down to the body in the clinch right there. Hit him to the head. Now, we have him up against the fence, so we let him go. Nice little cheeky little leg kick right there by him. So now we're just taking our time, just trying to get a read for what he's trying to do. So I see that he's, he wants to work the calf kicks. And he's trying to step in and throw two to three punch combinations. Nice little jab straight right there. So we're giving him a, giving him a little bit of room to throw out those leg kicks. So that way we can potentially get a counter over him. Right there, we crack him with a good four punch. Drop him right there because he did have low head health. Right there, catch him with the body combinations, but he did hit us with the uppercut, so we just need to be careful. He's launched, a, he's launched off a couple of overhands too, so we just got to try to mirror that stance, the stance that he's in. So he's in orthodox right now. Catch him with a good three-piece and knock him down, but we're not going to go for a finish on the ground unless we absolutely have to. But like I was saying before, if you see people are launching off overhands at you, try to stay in the same stance. Unless they're throwing the lead, uh, the lead overhand, then you know try to stay in the opposite stance. But you want to try to stay in the same stance if they're launching off that rear overhand. So that way, it's just naturally the slip is just natural to you. You don't have to adjust your slip. So here we got that rock off. We see that he's just trying to block his head, trying to jab into the distance right here. Just taking our time, standing in the middle of the octagon, letting him come to us if he wants to really engage. Jabbing into that block. He misses on the 1-2. He's major lunging off, so those body shots are going to be there like they were right there. Catch him with a good lead hook straight. He's utilizing the nice boxing range of Rob Font. There's that overhand again. We slipped off the straight. Now we're going to press forward, go to the body, then back up to the head. Just double jabbing. Good slip straight right there. Puts him down for the second time in this round. Drop him again right there with a crispy clean combination. Hurting him. Putting the damage on him. He misses on the switch kick. Go down to the body, then back up to the head. Now we're just starting to we're just starting to mix up the volume. And the rhythm of, of where of the combinations really that we're throwing. He's missing right there. Just taking our time. Catch him with a clean uppercut. I think as he was trying to go down for a body shot, 
that's what really, really got us that dub right there. Is he just that was bad timing on his part, but we're able to get the win again against another Piotr Jan. But let's go ahead and jump into the last fight that we do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We are going up against uh, Pedro Munoz. You really don't see this, man. I was honestly shocked when I was recording this video that, or getting the footage for this video, that somebody's actually using Pedro Munoz. He is not a very utilized fighter here in Bantamweight, but he's very, very good. The range is just kind of iffy with him because he's so short, but very, very good fighter in this weight class. So here he's pressing the pace like he needs to. He's probably going to throw out some calf kicks because Pedro Munoz does have level 5 calf kicks. As well he should, but it looks like he's just content with standing in the pocket. Not really trying to throw off any leg kicks. But that really works into our favor because that level 5 boxing is really going to pay dividends for us here inside this, inside this pocket. Catching him with some good strikes. He backs out. Catch him with a good uppercut. He's hitting everything off of our block. Not really bleeding through anything. So we're not worried about it too much at this point. Right there, nice front kick as we were moving forward into double body shots where we hit him with a good slip straight. Now, these are the type of fights that I really, really love being in. I love just banging it out. I'm not even going to cap. I love being in pocket fights with people. It's, like, it's really where I feel I really have my funnest moments at in UFC 4. So here we're just... Swinging and banging in his pocket. We fainted out. He missed on the kick. We didn't overhand it, but we went for a good body uppercut. Breaking that block down a little bit. Catching with a double body shot right there. Catching him with a jab. Breaking through that block. Throwing out that straight as well. He's coming back. He's catching us, but we drop him with a good jab uppercut right there off of the nice frame trap. Catching with a good body, body kick right there. Now he's walking forward, and Pedro does have, I believe, a 96 or 97 chin health, so he's not going to be easily put away. Let me tell you that. So we just need to remember to pace ourselves here in this fight. Catch him with a good body shot, hurting him with some good, clean body hooks now. Break that block down. Backing up when we need to to reset the stamina. Jabbing into that block, catching him with a nice four-piece right there. Catch him with a good jab hook, drop him again. Ripping down to the body, then back up to the head. So we're mixing it up, catching him with a good jab straight as he was throwing off that calf kick. Now he's bobbleheading just a little bit, but it's all right. It is what it is. I've gotten used to that in the game so far. So here we're popping out that jab, and now you see we have him on the back foot. So that's why we know we're kind of breaking him down a little bit. Because he's not really standing in the middle like he was like he was earlier in the fight. He's fighting off that back foot now. So you're double jabbing, closing the distance. Breaking that block down just with a jab. Catch him with a good lead hook. Rip down to the body, but just barely miss on the head punch. Tries to catch us with a head kick. Doesn't land, though. There's a nice calf kick, but we answer with a good one, too. Hitting down to the body, then back up to the head. And that's the end of the first round. Very, very solid first round. We rocked him multiple times in that round. We we're able to negate kind of those calf kicks. He was he was trying to work them there at the end, but we made him pay with the jab straight of Rob Font. So we're going to try to keep the momentum going into the second round uh, that we had towards the end of that round. As you see us knock him down right there with a good jab hook. Sent him to the floor. Then we caught him. Oh, this is the same replay, actually. The jab hook drops him again. And then you see us take a big back step right there. That's something that, you know, a lot of players don't do. They just kind of stay in people's faces when they get him hurt. But here we start at the second round to try to touch gloves, but this guy's not having it. So we just need to be aware of, of overhands and head kicks because I have a feeling he is going to start launching off overhands here pretty soon. So we're just taking our time, picking him apart. Good jab hook right there hurts him. Going down to the body with the body jab. Good body straight right there. Catch him with a good body uppercut. So we're mixing it up nicely. Just to try to get him to lower that guard. Catch him with a good uppercut. Hurt him. Go down to the body twice right there. Go with another body jab. Ooh, we caught him with the clean pull counter off of that front kick that he tried to throw. Now we have him in all sorts of trouble right here. Knock him down with a good lead uppercut. Push him away just because we want to keep the damage adding up. 
Nicely timed front kick right there. It stops us in our tracks, but we're still having that pressure. The pressure's starting to break him just a little bit, and that block is low. He's trying to time out something big. I know he is. We're just mixing up the timing on our, or the rhythm on our combinations. Mixing it up. Knock him down again right there with a good three-piece. Ripped down to the body. He's trying to time out that front kick, but it's just not happening for you, my boy. You're getting hit with some crispy, clean combinations, especially to the body now. Catching him with a good jab lead hook. Utilizing the range of Rob Font here. Shoots for a takedown, but we on that denial. And we get a rage quit for the second video in a row. We get a rage quit with Rob Font. That guy just... It, he knew what was coming. He knew what was coming. He knew he wasn't going to be able to stop those combos. So he just quit out. But that's the last fight that I do have for you guys on the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button. Slap that like button if you are new. If we get 20 likes, I will make... I might do a Cheeto Vera uh, calf for my next video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to get this video up to 20 likes. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you're watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next one.